welcome to this session so today's topic of the discussion is the reluctance and photoelectric pickup sensors my name is ajit subhas suryanshu working uh, as an assistant professor in electronics and telecommunication department at walch institute of technology solapur so today's topic of the discussion is at the end of the session student will able to select the appropriate transducer to measure the physical parameters like count speed and the displacement so what is a prerequisite that is what should knowledge you possess before proceeding to this uh, session is that you should have a knowledge of the different materials which is especially the electrical properties and you should have a knowledge of the basic circuit analysis that is electrical circuit analysis so let's start with the reluctance pickup so reluctance name itself suggests reluctance in the magnetic part so reluctance pickup it it is also called as a, it is also called as a vr sensor or variable reluctance, uh, reluctance sensors it is a type of the transducer which converts uh, which uh, converts the changing reluctance into the equivalent current because current and the reluctance are the directly proportional so when there is a change in the reluctance of the coil or in the magnetic uh, field the current associated with also changes so if you see there is a gear is here and these are the tooths are there when this gear shaft is rotating so when there is a rotation the magnetic reluctance of this coil changes because the permeability change is happening there so when there is a teeth is at the vicinity of this uh, permanent magnet coil so in that case uh, it have a low reluctance and when there is a no teeth that is uh, there it has a high reluctance so in the case of uh, uh, there is a teeth you will get the larger amount of the current uh, and in the case of absence of the teeth you will get the smaller amount of the current so in short you will get the one pulse for the one teeth so at this uh, trans uh, at this transformer action this this is the primary side of the transformer this is secondary side of the transformer so you will get the pulse for the every teeth and this is a this is again a pulse transformer to transferring the pulse and it will count the number of the pulses so in this way you can count the number of pulses and also you can uh, find out the speed of the of that uh, gear rotation so how much speed it is uh, this gear is rotating you can find out with the help of the magnetic or uh, variable reluctance sensors or vr sensors so what are the advantages of the pickup reluctance pickups it has a low cost low weight and it is very robust it can be used in the harsh envir environment and it also works in the high temperature so that makes it ideal for uh, turbine and in the internal combustion engine to measure the uh, number of teeth and where there is a, a temperature effect uh, or when there is a high temperature uh, constant is there you can use this uh, reluctance pickup coil without any compromising in the uh, compromising in the performance so what are the disadvantages disadvantage is uh, it is difficult to measure the low speed if this gear is rotating at the low speed it is difficult to measure that uh, because the pulse separation will be the more as if the speed uh, if the speed of this gear rotation is uh, low so that's why this is one of the disadvantages and uh, of course it needs the additional circuitry to process the pulses so this is one of the disadvantages now coming to the applications of the vr sensor or reluctance pickup coil or reluctance pickup sensors so it will have application it to measure the gear to speed and it has a application of the major turbine speed so as i explained it is working in the high temperature so turbine at the high temperature it can work harsh environment also and these are also many application it is also used in the musical instrument as a vr pickup coil so these are the different applications of the reluctance pickup sensors or vr sensors next is the photoelectric pickup 
So name itself is just a photo means a light and electric means uh, uh, electric is the voltage and the current is current is there. So in the photoelectric uh, pickup is one of the type of setup which will converts the photo uh, that is light into the equivalent uh, electricity. So this is one of the setup for the photoelectric uh, pickup. So when there is a shaft is rotating again it is used for measuring uh, speed. It is also used to, to measure the uh, number of object also this photoelectric pickup uh, sensors. And if you see when this shaft is rotating, and at the at this side, if you see the uh, there is a detector is there, light detector maybe the photodiode or phototransistor, and here is the light source is there, maybe the LED light emitting diode or laser source is there. So when this light falls, when there is a holes appear, appears in the path of the light, so this uh, this will get detected by this sensor photo detector and it will detect the pulse. So every time you detect the hole, it will detect that pulse. So in this way, you can measure a speed and other uh, parameters also with the help of the photoelectric pickup. Now coming to the application, as I told you, the speed measurement and also the, it is used in the counting the objects. So if it also used can be used on the conveyor belt when there is an object is moving, you can count the number of object with the number of pulses. Now this, these are the applications of the photoelectric pickup sensors. Next is the linear variable differential transducer. It is also called as LVDT. It is a type of the transducer which will convert the linear displacement into the equivalent electrical output that is that is voltage and if you see the uh, but this is a, uh, what is the conceptual image of the alvidity so there is a one primary coil and there are two secondary coil so to the primary coil main source is connected and at the secondary coil the your signal is get detected in the alvidity so there are three coils in the linear variable displacement transducers now coming into the construction, in the construction as I told you there are three coils, this is a primary, these are the secondary, two secondary coils. So to this coil a source is given and there is a core there, which is a very high permeable core. So maybe made up of the soft iron or any other material and these are the extra coating on it. So when this core, the material used is the high permeable material. And these are the coils which is of the high density coils, a glass coated high density coils are used here. So this core is moving in this, in this type of the uh, construction. So this is about the construction of the alveolity. Now coming into the operation. So there are three coils, one is the primary and there are two secondary coils. One end of the secondary coil is uh, tied together and at the opposite end you will get the output of this uh, alveolity. So you, uh, to, to explain the operation of the alveolity it can be explained in the three cases. So when this core is at the center position which is also called as a null position. So in the null position what happens, the E1 voltage and E2 voltage which is generated due to this coil one electromagnetic induction. So these two are equal. So when these two are equal you will get the whatever is the difference voltage at this two point is a zero. So th that, that's why it is called as a null position. And when core is at the upper position that is upward position uh, in that case the more flux from the primary of this coil primary coil is linked to this coil uh, that is uh, this upper one coil that is uh, the E1 voltage will be the greater than voltage E2 in that case. So this during the upward direction you will expect the positive voltage and during the downward direction E2 will be the greater than E1. You may expect the negative voltage in that case. That is That will be the phase shift of the AC input. Now coming to the characteristics of the alveolity. So these are the characteristics of the alveolity. 
so this is corresponding to the null position as i explained you null position in the null position you will get the output differential output is zero and uh, during the motion either in the upward and uh, other direction downward direction you will uh, when you ca counting the mod uh, mod of that output not the phase shift in that case in the mod output you will only interested in the uh, more only interested in the magnitude not the phase so in that case you will get the output which is a linear so that's why this device is called as a linear so this is output which is linear again this is output which is a linear so this output is uh, corresponding to full full deflection that is full reading or full scale value and again this is a output which is corresponding to the full scale value in opposite direction which have a 180 degree phase shift so these are uh, phase shifted of the 180 degree now coming to the uh, question very interesting question what will be the maximum and minimum output do you expect from the albedity so think about it right on the piece of the paper well the answer is the maximum output is the mod of the either e1 or e2 okay or it will be the output minimum output will be the zero so minimum output you don't have a confusion about it so minimum output is a null position that is this is your minimum output and what is the maximum output is the maximum of uh, amplitude of the signal you may expect at this so either mod of e1 or mod of e2 so this will be the maximum output and minimum output is zero now coming to the application of the elvidity to measure the load and pressure elvidity is used it is used in the servo mechanism uh, for con controlling purpose also it is used in the aircraft satellite also and it has a, a application in the hydraulics so to control the uh, to control have a control of the uh, have a control in the hydraulic machines so these are the different applications of the linear variable differential trans transformer or albedity so these are the references thank you